In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this really cool circular steps animation where we have the multiple taps fly in on the side of the screen and create a really nice overview on your slides. So let's jump into PowerPoint to see how we did it. And here we're starting from a blank slide. And what I want to do is I want to go for a layout and use an entirely blank layout. Next, I want to go to design and choose a nice color palette. So go for colors and then choose a color palette that really fits the style. I'm going for that fall palette here, of which you have the color codes, so you can add them to your slides as well. Next, I'm going to change the background, so right click, form a background, and then go for a gradient fill. We can choose the standard presets here, so I'm choosing that radial fill with that lighter tone in the middle. Next, I want to go for shapes and add a circle to the slide. I'm going to make it quite large. You can always zoom out here at the bottom toggle and then just place them right here. I'm going to place it on the right side of the slide to start, Control c Control v and create a duplicate. Now there's a shorter way if you just press Control d and you place it on the right position, you just press Control d three more times, one, two, three, and then you create copies with that same interval. You can select them all, and if you didn't do that, you can always align them and distribute horizontally to make them evenly spaced. That's what we want to create. Now here on the left side of the screen, we can see sort of the preview that we are working with. So you can play around with the settings or play around with the positioning to see if it works. I'm going to remove the outline for all of them. And now I'm going to change the tones to one light or one darker each time we move to the right. So every step, we're going to just make it one tone darker until we're almost at the end. And now we have that darkest tone in the background. So that's what we want to create. Now I'm going to select those shapes and also add a shadow and a drop shadow to the right. Increase the transparency and the blur by just a bit. So we sort of get that nice paper-like effect. That's what we want to create. Now we're going to add the content. So I'm going to drag in the text box and let's say we do ABC, you can do one, two, three, doesn't matter. And let's use the font Montserrat and make it larger. Let's say around 80 and center it in the middle, just like this. I'm going to use a sub font so it can be quite large and bold and then create a second one, maybe in a semi-bold version where we have the subtitle. So let's say it's lorem ipsum, but we make this quite a few ticks smaller until it nicely fits in that part. I'm going to center everything in the middle and then create one more text box where we just paste in some more text. And of course we make that, let's say points, 10 points, that will be good. You can make it as large or as small as you want. Now for those, I'm going to group it together and also here press Ctrl D and place it to the right. And then just press Ctrl D two more times for that exact positioning. Now you can see we're sort of pushing the edge here on that slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select everything and drag everything slightly to the left until it nicely fits in the slide. That's what we want. Then change the content to however you like it. I'm going to do A, B, C and D. And also let's maybe do like an introduction here. So go for insert icons and let's do a target. If we we're talking about four targets and place that on the left side, give that the darkest fill. And then maybe we copy one of those text boxes and give that the same content or color. Let's make it a bit larger. So we have a real title or a realistic title, just like this. And same thing here as well. You can just position if you can't see it exactly where the middle is. So you can do that just like this. So now that we have this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group the parts together. So select the circle with its content and press Ctrl G together. And you see sometimes they will shift to the front. That doesn't matter. We're going to resolve that in a second. And now I'm going to right click and repeat that for all the other shapes just until we have that position again that we wanted. Hey, quick, do you sometimes struggle to make your slides look great? Well, you probably don't need another tutorial. You need to understand the fundamentals of slide design. And that is exactly what I'm going to teach you in my 30 day program. Now imagine you can take any slide and know exactly how to fix it and make it impactful and communicate with power and effectiveness. That's what I'm going to teach you in 30 days. So you'll go through all the fundamentals that every professional slide designer uses. So you can turn any bad slide in an amazing looking impactful slide. But don't just take it from me. Look at the students who've taken the course and the reviews they left behind. It really changes the way you think about slide design and how you communicate. And that is what it's all about. If you want to learn more about this program, make sure to check the link in the description below and sign up now. Let's get back to the video. Now we're coming to the animation part of the tutorial. So I'm going to right click and duplicate the slide. And on the first slide, let's close this here. I'm going to scroll backwards a little bit and then just drag everything to the right side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to shift everything until we nicely stack the circles on top of each other and we leave some sort of a border. 
So you can see that the layers are nicely stacked on top of each other, but a little bit of an offset. So then you can select them all and place them nicely on the slide. You have the preview here. So you have a nice border. There we go. Let's add a text box, call this steps, also using Montserrat and make it large. You can see it goes to 96, but if you want to make it larger, you can just tap that or just enter it manually if you want. Center it in the middle, use a sub font, which is going to be bold, not italic. I think that's too much. Let's use that. Let's use that extra bold. There we go. Create copy and call this animation. Make it smaller and change font. We're going to do sign painter and make that a yellow orange. Nicely contrast with everything else. Now we're selecting two text boxes, right click format object, go to text options and give it a nice drop shadow. Not too much, just a little bit, create some layers on the slide. Now it's important that we select this text and send it to back. We copy it, paste it on this one here and send it to back as well. Now we're going to select the second slide go to transitions and apply morph. And now let's preview what this looks like. And this is how you can create this really cool circular steps animation in PowerPoint in just a few simple clicks. And I think it's a very dynamic way of presenting some content on your slides. So thanks a lot for watching. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint and really become an expert and understand the fundamentals of how we work, I have a 30 day program that you can access via the link in the description below and that will teach you all the fundamentals you need to become a professional slide designer. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.